welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at rooting our Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL, and of course the new Pixel 3a and 3a lineup on Android Q Beta 5. With the latest Canary builds, we're able to root Android Q on the Pixel 3 series. So right now I'm just on the Beta 5, as you can see there, the latest, the latest one from Google. And all we need to do before we begin is enable USB debugging so we can install the Magisk Manager app quickly. So all you have to do is, of course, enable USB debugging in the developer options. And then when you're prompted uh, to allow USB debugging, make sure you check always allow from this computer and then click on allow. And once that's done, we can head back over to our computer. Now, if that doesn't come up, it will come up sooner or later when we start to run ADB commands. It's just that I have an existing ADB server running on my computer right now. And we'll just head back to our computer here. And the first thing you want to download, of course, is the Android Q Beta factory image. Now, if you go on the right hand side, so the left hand side here, and click on Get Android Q Beta, scroll down a little bit to the downloads page. I'll have this page directly linked down below. Just download the latest one for your device here. Now, I presume that you will be on the latest one. Otherwise, you can follow one of my other videos on how to kind of update your phone with an unlocked bootloader using the factory images. And you just want to select this factory image and download the factory image here. I'll save everything into one folder. And the next thing you want to download is the latest Canary Magisk Manager. The one without the debug is fine, so the first link will do. And just save this app-release APK into the same folder as the factory image that you just downloaded. And last but not least, you'll also need to have the SDK Platform Tools, which is just ADB and Fastboot. Uh, these are the executables that we use to communicate with our phone. And this is how we're going to flash the patched boot image that Magisk Manager will create for us. So I'm going to download the one for Windows, agree with the terms and conditions, and download that. And once you have everything downloaded, you should have these three files, very simple. What we're going to do first is open up the factory image that we downloaded. Now this one has to match the current build that you're on, and you can see the current build on your phone. If I bring that up again, if you remember, you can see the build number here, and this matches the one I have on the computer, which is fine. So as long as they match, this should be okay. But if they don't, you'll want to kind of apply this new one that we've downloaded on our computer, the factory image that is. Anyways, we just need to open up the factory image and inside we see the image zip file. We want to open that. And once we've opened that, we want to extract the boot image from the inside and just drag it outside just like that. So we have this boot image. Now we can close the factory image and the image zip inside. And what we need to do is copy this boot image to our phone. Now we'll just use ADB for this since we have set up USB debugging already. So I'm just going to leave it out like this. And this is when we also need to use the platform tools. So let's open that up and extract the entire platform tools folder. Now, if you already have an existing uh, platform tools installation or instance out there on your computer, you can use that as long as it's up to date. So in here, in order to use these programs, we need to use the command prompt or the PowerShell window to this directory. We can type in CMD for the command prompt in the address bar, and this will automatically open up a command prompt window with the directory already changed to the platform tools exactly where we need it. So we can run things like fastboot and also ADB. Now I've decided to use my console emulator here just so it's easier for me to show you what to type. But in essence, if you chose to use the command prompt, it'll be the same. For PowerShell users, you'll need to run the commands prefixed with the dot backslash, like so, something like this. But anyways, with the command prompt, you don't have to do that. And we're just going to go back into our Android folder where everything else is. And we're going to push the boot image to our phone. Now you can do the same thing using MTP. So you can change the USB options on your phone to transfer files and just copy that to your phone. But we'll just do it this way because it's a bit quicker. So we're going to type in adb push, and then we can drag in the boot image. And then let's just move it to our SD card, like so. So slash SD card slash, let's make this a bit bigger. And you can hit enter. Now usually you don't see this line if you didn't have an existing adb uh, server running. And you can see that it's pushed one file to our phone here, and that's cool. And the next thing you want to install is the Magisk Manager that we downloaded, the Canary build. So we can type in adb install, leave a space after that, and drag in the app release APK, and press enter. And you should see success after that. 
You may get a prompt for something like Google Play Protect. You can just click on OK or Cancel. Doesn't really matter. As long as you like kind of go through that pop-up. And once you've done that, let's head over back to our phone where we'll pretty much do the rest or a little bit of the process there. Not the rest, but a majority of it. So let's head back home and open up the app drawer. We can see Magisk Manager here. So let's open it up. And that's cool. It says Magisk not installed. That's fine. Oops. It looks like we are on the Canary uh, builds already. So update channel. Make sure that says Canary. Uh, you can choose either the Canary or Canary Debug. I'll just leave it as the Canary Debug. And what we need to do is tap on install, tap on install here, and we want to select and patch a file. And it says down here, I'll just zoom in a little bit. You want to select this option, tap on allow, and then from here you want to browse for that boot image that we copied over using ADB earlier. So to do that, we just need to go up into the three dots here and tap on show internal storage, slide open the menu again, and then hit up pixel three, and then you should see the boot image down here. There we go. So tap on that and Magisk Manager will start downloading the latest version of Magisk uh, Canary and then patch our boot image accordingly so we can, I guess, root our phone with that. So there it is. It's going to create backups of the things that we need. Okay, so it says it's all done. And here it says they've just put it in the downloads folder under Magisk underscore patched dot IMG. So we need to take that image from our phone into our computer and then use fastboot to flash that to our boot image or boot partition I should say. So we can back out of that since we're done and of course we can go back to our computer. Now since we remember the file name and location this should be quite easy. Since we're in the platform tools folder it's a little bit tricky but we can type in cd dot dot and that'll take us back into the android folder which is this one where all our files are and we'll just use the adb pull command to take the file from our phone to our computer. So we can type in adb pull, and it was located under SD card. So we need to type in slash SD card slash, and then it was in the download folder, slash magisk, I think it was underscore patched dot img, and then put a dot space and then dot for our current directory. And there we go. We've just pulled the patched magisk uh, image file outside. And we can see the file here. And this is the one we need to flash in the bootloader. So let's reboot our phone into the bootloader. So we can type in adb reboot bootloader. And this will restart our device back into the bootloader where we can use fastboot to flash this patched image to our phone. There we go. So let's do that now. Let's type in fastboot devices just to see if our device is connected. And it should be. We can see our serial number pop up here. And once we have that, let's type in fastboot flash boot. Leave a space after boot and drag in the Magisk patched image and press enter. And this will write the patched image to our boot partition. And from there, we can just type in fast boot, reboot, hit enter, and our phone should turn on just as it does. Let's just give this a few moments. Now, if your phone doesn't turn on, you can always use the original boot image that you extracted earlier from the factory image. And you can flash that using the same command as we did here. But instead of dragging in the patched image, we just drag in the original boot image. And it's also nice to see the dark loading screen here. This looks like it's going well, so we'll just fast forward this until we get back into Android. Oh, okay, no need to fast forward. We're already there. Alrighty, so let's have a look. It's a good sign when the phone turns on. Okay, welcome to our new pixel. Let's have a look at Magisk Manager, and there we are. We are rooted using Magisk on Android Q. So here we should have access to all the modules and things that we like here. We'll just give this a sec to load, but there it is. Let's also go back here and have a look at safety net. It should pass, there we go. And this looks like it's working just fine. So here are the downloads uh, for the modules, super user requests, Magisk hide, and everything that you would possibly want. So thank you guys for watching. This is how you can root your Pixel 3 series, so 3 and 3a on Android Q Beta 5 using Magisk Manager patching the boot image. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down below or even better yet, join us on Discord. A link to that is also down below. And as always, happy flashing.